So YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Late night video. A little different, but it's all good. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for 41,000 subscribers. Much love to y'all. Straight up. Uh, make sure you check out the Team Keep It Clean podcast. New episode is coming out tomorrow. Every Wednesday. Every week, every Wednesday. That's when the podcast comes out. Uh, but somebody who was featured on the podcast today was Ravens head coach John Harbaugh. He was on the Rich Eisen podcast. And Rich Eisen, he be uh, he brings some, whenever he has an interview with the Ravens, he brings out some really important stuff. Like last time when he spoke to Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson let it be known, like, hey, man, they calling out our plays. The defenders are calling out our plays. And that really, whew, that was just, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't only the defenders that were calling out the plays. It was us fans at home, too. We knew what was coming. But anyway, Rich, he had John Harbaugh on the show. And Harbaugh said he guarantees that Lamar Jackson's fifth-year option will be getting picked up. Because we've been seeing all these different players' options get picked up. Vita Villa from the Bucks. We saw Baker Mayfield from the Browns. His fifth-year option got picked up. And we've just been waiting like, Lamar, when are they going to do that for Lamar? Because we know Lamar ain't going nowhere. We know that. If, despite all that stuff that Bucky Brooks was saying, and you saw Lamar responded to it too. Lamar said, hey, Bucky, he said, we could box. Promise you I won't buck. But, you know, he's he just messing with it. He's just playing around. You know, Lamar ain't on none of that stuff. He's just entertaining it. Just, just not, not in a serious way, though. But he's listening. And he's watching. And I know my guy Harry, he said it. And I know some other people said in the comment section of that video from earlier today that with Lamar Jackson, uh, my guy Harry said he appreciated that Bucky Brooks said that. Why? Because that just adds fuel to Lamar Jackson's fire. And I know there were some people that tried to defend it like, oh, it makes sense. It makes sense from a financial standpoint. And I said in the video, and I'll say it again, yes, from a financial standpoint, it makes sense to do that. It makes sense to, if you have a quarterback that's due to get paid, and you don't want to pay him all that money because it's going to be 20, 25% of the salary cap into one player. If you don't want to do that, okay, I understand that. And you want to draft somebody else to be that quarterback's replacement? I can understand that. I, I do it in Madden all the time. But it is not a good move for the Baltimore Ravens. It's not. I understand the logistics. understand it from a business standpoint. But for the Ravens, that's a big no. Huge no. But about 99% of y'all already knew that. But anyway, Lamar Jackson. Harbaugh said they guaranteeing that they're going to pick up that fifth-year option. He said he, he could walk over to Eric DaCosta's office right now. Or was it Steve Bishotti who saw? I think he said Eric DaCosta. Either way, Harbaugh let it be known. He said, can I, can I guarantee it on here? Can I make that guarantee right here, right now? And Rich was like, go ahead, Harbs. Do your thing, buddy. And he did it. He did it. Now, I do believe Harbaugh, but that clock is ticking. The Ravens have until May 3rd to pick up Lamar Jackson's fifth-year option. And I'm not trying to make this bigger than what it is because it's not a big deal at all right now yet. But the clock is ticking. And we've heard a lot of times when we've heard a head coach, we've heard a GM, we've heard this guy, that guy say, oh, yeah, this guy's a part of our plans. And then turn around and flip the script. Now, that's not going to happen with Lamar. Oh, trust me, it ain't going to happen with Lamar. But what I'm saying is we need to see this thing put in motion. We need to see that notification on all of our phones, on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. We all need to see it that the Ravens have picked up Lamar Jackson's fifth year option. And I believe that fifth year option is going to cost them like 22 mil against the cap, something like that. Because the normal fifth year option for these quarterbacks it is uh, like 18 mil, something like that. I think Baker got like 18 mil. I think Josh Allen, he's due to get like 18 mil. But Lamar Jackson, his is like 22, 23 mil. How? How is that even possible? Because he was the last pick in the first round of the draft. How did that go? 
Well, it's because he went to the Pro Bowl. And you were selected in the first round, but it doesn't matter where. But if you went to the Pro Bowl, then your cash flow goes up. Your income goes up. Your prices, they go up. So shout out to Lamar Jackson because he's getting money coming his way regardless. But when, when they do finally officially do the fifth year option, whenever that's going to be, this will buy the Ravens that much more time for them to get a long-term deal done. And you know, like, it's coming. It's coming. Now, me, I was never one that thought it would be done this offseason. Um, I still don't think it'll be done this offseason. Anything's possible, but I just, I don't see it being done this offseason. Because you want to ride this thing out as long as possible. You do. You want to ride out his, his rookie contract as long as you possibly can so you can do the most and put the most around him. Now, again, like sometimes it seems like the Ravens already pay Lamar with how they put weapons around him on offense because they, they be like, ah, well, yeah, one year, $6 million deal. That, that, that's cool. That's cool. And I'm not saying to overpay for people. But certainly the time, it's been time to, to really, really put around Lamar some like some real deal stuff. It's been that time. That's old news. But just haven't seen it too much yet. Um, but we'll see. There's some names still out there that the Ravens can make some moves on. Uh, we, of course, got the draft coming up in a couple days. Uh, and that's that's always going to be fun. And Ravens, of course, still right now, as of right now, as of April what, 27th at 9.54 p.m. Shout out to Broward, 9.54. But the Ravens have two first-round draft picks. Will they end the draft with two first-round draft picks? No. Will they? I, I highly doubt it. I, I, I do not see them. I just don't see it to where the Ravens would... Pick two times in the first round. I just don't see. I don't think any of y'all see it either. Like, I just, that would be crazy to me. I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad at or complaining or nothing. I would be happy with that, but I just don't see them doing that. Because you just got to feel like they're going to trade back and get even more picks. But will those picks be impactful players? To be determined. So anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I really do appreciate y'all. Uh, Y'all keep being positive, keep spreading positivity, keep spreading good vibes, man. And again, look out for the podcast tomorrow. Uh, we have, tomorrow is Wednesday, it's Wednesday already, that's crazy. We have a lot to cover. Um, we are, of course, live streaming the draft on Thursday. Now, y'all already know that we live streaming the first round. We've been doing this for like the past four, five years, maybe six. Uh, we've been live streaming the first round of the draft for a long time. Uh, well, I love it. So I will see y'all there. Um, and yeah, we got a few questions from subscribers to get caught up on. Uh, but any questions from subscribers that y'all don't see a video for before the draft, we will answer them on draft night before Jag Jacksonville is on the clock. So I wonder who they're going to select with that first overall pick. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. And just like Lamar Jackson won't be, and he better not be Baltimore. He better not ever be. Don't play with us. Don't play with me. Don't play with none of us. But like Lamar Jackson, better not ever be when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens. I'm out. <laughs>